The 53-year-old Nseki replaces former coach Arthur Zwani as Kaiser Chiefs coach with immediate effect. The Free State-born coach joined Chiefs as head of technical and the Youth Development Academy in May 2021. This came after his sacking as Bafana Bafana coach. Nseki has never coached at professional level in South Africa's top flight football, but he has coached various national youth teams in the country. This is the greatest move they've made. Uh, I'm very happy that Kazam Daung has actually came up with a, this kind of decision. Nzeki has been with the kids, the youth in particular, a teacher by profession. That means this person has got knowledge as far as kids are concerned and sports in particular. Uh, he has done so well. He has been appointed for the national team and that shows that this person has an ability that he can coach. Butelezi has appealed for calm from the heart to please Amakosi fans. Chiefs fans have grown impatient because the club hasn't won a major trophy in the past eight years. Coaching uh, Kaiser Chiefs it has always been a hot uh, a seat. Uh, if you go there, you obviously have a strong mind, a strong responsibility that you need to take. And I'm glad because Nzeki has the support with the team. Butelezi's sentiments were echoed by SABC sport football commentator Michael Abramson. Abramson says Nseki's coaching credentials will be judged after the first few games of the season. He needs to be given a chance, but I know Chiefs fans are getting a little bit frustrated. No trophies in eight years, so it's been a, a long time coming, and he has to produce. There's no doubt he's got to produce quickly, because if he doesn't, the fans are really going to get on his back. He's obviously worked with Arthur, he's worked with Dylan Shepard, so he knows them well. So let's give him a chance and see how he does. But if results are not forthcoming early, it's going to be tough. And Nzeki will need nerves of steel to deal with the demanding fans. South African football needs Chiefs to be strong. I think we need a strong Chiefs to compete with the Pirates and the Sundowns. And to have seen what we've seen in the last few years is not acceptable as far as Chiefs fans and people are concerned. So I just hope that it's the right appointment, but no doubt the results will tell us. But football fans hold a different view and say Nzeki will be out of his depth at Chiefs. First of all, I'm not a Kosi fan, but uh, I think it's a, it's a good move for Kaiser Chiefs. So uh, we have seen others when he was in doing great. For me, uh, Mulef Nzeki, uh, I don't think he's the right coach because uh, the whole time he's been he's been there uh, on the on the on the on the background watching everything. Mulef Nzeki, uh, when I'm checking uh, his track record, uh, he was not so popular. And I don't know whether he'll take Chiefs to the highest level at the present moment. I think um, he's not the fit coach to coach Kiza Chiefs due to the past he had with uh, Bafana Bafana. Zwani, together with his former assistant coach, Dylan Shepard, will now serve as Nzeki's assistants. The club's management has vowed to be fully behind Nzeki as the team attempts to return to its former glory days. Spiso Ramara, SABC News, Johannesburg.